Okay, let's roll right into our post race for the 62nd annual Showtime Southern 500. And our third place finisher is Brad Keselowski. He drives a number two Miller Lite Dodge for Penske Racing. And Brad, certainly uh, your best showing of the uh, 2011 season. You had to feel pretty good about how things unfolded out there tonight. Yeah, well, it was our, our best finish, but definitely not our, our best run. Um, you know, we uh, we're probably about a 15th place car. Just uh, kind of played some strategy there at the end, and uh, you know, still kind of in the same boat. Uh, we've had a couple of races where I felt like we were pretty pretty decent. You know. Uh, Bristol's and so forth, where we caught some bad breaks, and today we weren't honestly all that good, and, and caught some good breaks there at the end. You know, kind of stayed out and uh, made something of that last few restarts, and uh, was able to get a third place finish out of it. So, you know, I'm proud of the result. Uh, not really how we got it, but uh, proud of the result, and uh, still um, we, we got a long ways to go to to be fast and and to earn it. So, uh, you know, we got a, got a lot of work to do, but a good team effort to uh, to kind of get a solid finish uh, out of a mediocre day. Questions now for Brad. If you have one, raise your hand. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff at RacingToday.com. Brad, um, the decision to stay out on old tires, was, was that yours or the crew chief, or how'd that play out? Uh, well, I'd kind of been yelling at Paul all day, so I think by the end he told me to do what I want to do. And, uh, you know, I saw everybody pitting, and I kind of figured they would all wreck on one of the last three starts, and uh, it would come down to a green-white checkered, and uh, it did. So uh, kind of caught a good break there. Uh, there's no guarantees that will happen, and uh, and was able to to hold off the uh, the four car and those everybody but the 99 there at the end. Other questions for Brad? Go ahead, Mike. Can we get him a microphone? Mike Muller, Mike Muller. Net. On that restart, now you uh, pulled up in front of Carly. You ran side by side with Carl. What were you looking for on that restart right there? Uh, which one? The last one? Or? Yeah, the the last one. Oh, the last one. Uh, you know, basically, Regan with his older tires, it's going to be really hard for him to get going to the gears. And I'd restarted next to, to Regan several times before in the race um, and saw that he was struggling even in normal situations. So, you know, I kind of timed the restart, lagged back uh, about a car length or so and gave him a huge push into turn one, which was enough to get him the, the drive he needed. And uh, that helped him clear the 99, and I just fouled him up in the hole and, and kind of log jammed it, which uh, kept Carl from getting – back next to him but uh you know your thought is to to just get all you can and, and dig and claw and i knew i was no match for carl you know his car had been way faster all night and, and he had two more tires than, than what i had so which was zero so i knew i couldn't hold it with carl but uh you know you're just trying to when you're a slow car you just want to log jam everything so nobody can get by and uh, that was that's kind of the thought pattern any questions in the press box for brad keselowski No questions upstairs. Go ahead. We'll come back for one more down here. Go ahead. Uh, Dwight Drum, RaceState.com. Uh, Brad, a lot of the drivers, even as tough as this track is, a lot of it's still one of the favorite. One of their, they say it's one of their favorite tracks. Is, is it one of your favorite tracks? And if so, uh, is it a little more now? If not, absolutely. It's always been one of my favorite tracks. I, I can remember. I think it was like '94 or '95, somewhere in there. This racing video game came out uh, called NASCAR Racing, and. Uh, this was the only track I ran for some reason. I don't know. I always liked it. And uh, I've always said that I've had an advantage from that all along and always ran well here, at least on the cup side, because of it. Uh, you know, I used to race with Denny Hamlin and them on the, on the video game stuff, and this was one of our favorite places to come and still is, and uh, it's that way in the real world too. So it, I don't know. Maybe that's why I run better here than some other places, but uh, it's a place that, that I respect. Uh, you know, it's a place that you have to respect, and uh, it's, it's been good to me. Any other questions for Brad? Yeah. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, that the, the restart before that last restart, what did you see? Because we're looking at 18 and 29 and all that stuff. Did you see any of that stuff that was going on or what? No, no, I didn't, I didn't see any of the wrecks back there, but uh, I'm sure there's some angry people. <laughs> you know, it's, basic, it's the basic same old thing, you know, kind of like what happened last night. You know, you, you line up a bunch of faster cars, and, you know, they all kind of lose their heads, and you know, because they got to make hay real quick, and... Uh, Someone's always going to lose out on that deal, and, and that sounds like it's what happened. Brad, thanks a lot. Good run out there tonight. All right, thank you, guys.